Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Eric. And we're back <laughs> with The Flash. Yay. Last time on The Flash, we had fast. <laughs> we're running fast. I came to watch this boy <laughs> run fast. <laughs> he ran. He ran fast. He ran fast. We didn't really see it, though. No, because he, he was just he always ran. fast. He ran. We were the fast. fast ones. The camera was fast. That's weird. Yeah. Kind of like fast. in Dragon Ball Z, where they're fighting so fast. Any normal person would look up like, I don't know what's going on. It's just, you know? No. But then the camera speeds no. up. We get to speed up with them. Nothing See like how that. fast these super-powered like people that. are fighting. No. Um, we had the pocket dimension thing. Eight men. What would what, what, what we have? Jay Garrick died. Yeah. No. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> I'm reading. We had Veronica Dale from Eden Core. That's what they were called. Eden Core. That was the person. Uh, we had some oh. Jesse Mama stuff and and other stuff like that. But we also had a poll. Yep. I'll get my phone. All right. So the poll we had last week was: Do you think Ralph could have survived the nuclear blast? Ah. Oh. I said no. Well, a bunch of idiots said no. A bunch of them, huh? Eighty-two <laughs> percent said no. 17% said yes. 17% said yes? You guys aren't idiots. Interesting. Interesting. Ragman, he could survive a nuclear blast. But he had rags. And you know what? They killed his rags. So so rags can survive a nuclear blast? Yeah, Jewish holy rags. What? Holy rags? Yeah. Then they would just let stuff go through. No, they're they're There's, Jewish they're and holy. holes everywhere. They're holy. And it's in. Holy. Holy. Like, oh, here. Hang on. This will be holy. I just got the shirt. No! <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, <coughs> Ultra Sergeant. Oh, Ultra. Who's that? I don't know. Sorry, Aaron. Gotta go with Eric on this one. I know his cells are super duper special now, but I feel like he'd just be incinerated by the force of the blast. Well, he just absorb it. Like bullets, which are pointy. Yeah. And bombs that he's taken. Yay! Everything else that he's taken. High five, Ultra Sergeant. Andrew Courtney says, based on his issue with acids, the exothermic reaction of a nuclear blast mm. would have done the same thing to him, only far, far worse. Pretty yeah. sure his cells would have disintegrated. I would have said that word, but I thought I'd Acid's confuse different. You, so, you don't even know what that word means. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. exothermic mean? Exothermic. Esso. Esso. Uh, no. It's from, it's, e it's east of Westeros. Uh, is where his root word was, and then thermic is like when you want to keep your drink warm. Roberto says he's stretchy. He's stretchy. Thanks, Roberto. I think that's on my side. <laughs> um, Speedy says, the blast, yes, but the radiation may have killed him eventually. And Craig says, he probably died from radiation, most likely. Yeah, yeah, totally. Later, totally. After he saved the city, though. Wouldn't... Sam says, no! <laughs> Fluxbuck says, death! Death! <laughs> um... As, why are people relating acid and radiation? People don't understand, I don't think. Like, acid burns stuff, radiation burns stuff. Like, well, yeah, but not the same. What they're saying is that totally if he different. can't hold up to acid, he most likely can't hold up to the blast slash radiation of a Which is ridiculous. Blast. Why is that ridiculous? Radiation affects things differently no, no, than the, acid the does. Blast. You know, it doesn't matter the radiation. The radiation, gigantic blast. The radiation doesn't matter. I, I would say that the gigantic blast is enough. No, the gi gigantic blast is what he would absorb with his stretchy, yeah, polymer-like body. I don't think he could absorb it. <gasps> like a rubber band can stretch, but if I just go, <clears throat> it's broken. Yeah, but he's not a rubber band. <laughs> you could be in a band, and then they could call him rubber band. He could play trombone. Yagami Light just says, yes, that's why he wasn't in this episode. Duh. <laughs> you know why I said trombone? Because it stretches. What? That doesn't stretch. It slides. It's a slider, Eric. So that was the poll. I'm glad that everybody saw reason. And for the few, I hit the few, what are we doing? few amount of people that didn't, he could have. Thank you for I'm gonna supporting go us. I'm going to go and bring in a whole bunch of information next week. About what? He thought of it and was like, ah, it's not useful to me. Oh. What's he doing? Just like Vaughn. Just like Vaughn. 
He's gonna be the bad guy? What is all this? No, no. This is gonna give us the edge we finally need to be smarter than... He's gonna do a thinking cap. Or... I hacked into security footage of that night to see how he did it. Man, they this got really good security is why it's great <laughs> They were looking the up at his intelligence. The ground. With neurochemical engineering. Just so I'm clear on this, someone finally came up with a way to stop this lazy boy riding lunatic and you just might not do it. What do you think? That's really cool, guys. I don't know. I mean, I get Ralph. It's his life. I got this one. Yeah, thanks. Hallway of justice. Dr. Hallway. It's the only way. I get. Right now, we should be trying to stop the boat and finding those last few bus metas. Because I got a bad feeling one of them's going to show up soon. Mm. Now. <laughs> Man, Ralph. Ah! I get it, but like back and forth, back and forth. Ooh, gun mounted. It'll be your hand. Joey. No. Was that? Maybe you've got a death Did you see wish. some kind of weird yeah, glowy hand? He too? just like absorbed it or what the hell? He took it? He can take your power. Hey buddy, you're a real He's gone. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone. Gone. You're all he needs a little push. <laughs> oh, I'll go. Barry, you can stay here. Uh okay. Uh, well, you know, I never go out into the field, so I thought, you know. Mm. Okay. Well, you're the boss. <clears throat> Can I hang out in here? <laughs> well, I see we analyze your eating habits and extrapolated them in a predictive behavior model all within four seconds. The cab is working. Huh. Cool, but not quite convinced. No. Your cheek is going to be hurting in about three seconds. Huh? Why? <laughs> ah! All right, then. <laughs> Except for one very small thing. Which is? Your head is on fire. <laughs> it's not. Oh! Your head is on fire. I said put it down. This is very drastic for a guy who's trying to save people. He did those powers. He was hurting people. Is he gonna take, is he, did he take his powers? You did this, not me. I got him. He took his powers. I lost my speed. What do you mean you lost your What did he do with it? Uh, guys? Uh, I think I found it. Well, where'd the firepower go? He's giving the power wires. Yeah, but where's the firepower at? Oh, oh it's geez. purple! This is amazing. Well, that's, oh, that's horrible. Cool. Anything with a Yeah, it is. Well, I've done every test cool. I She's wearing a purple jacket a little bit ago. Cellular regression synthesis brain virus is a speedster. So, what about Okay. The... This is bad. Um, well, that's not the only thing. Guess who's got an apartment just a block away from the four or five bus line and rides it every day to get to work? Mm, so, he's a bus meta. Matthew is okay. our bus meta, not Fry, which means that the power is going to come after him power. sooner or later. It's not Mr. Melting Point. Look, it's just it's just a melting point. Uh, you know, somebody out there has Fry's like fire Fry powers better. right now. We need to find them. Yeah, who has the fire powers? That's what I want to know. Where'd those go then? I'll see if there's a way to reverse this. Was it the random guy? He fell into a guy, right? Remember when he pushed him and he fell? And we were like, hey, was that light there? So the light went out and went back into Iris. It went out and went into that random guy at the bus. At the, at the bank. It'd be funny if like she starts the one speech or stuff and she's like, I'm the Flash Bear. He's like, we're the Flash. Like, no, it's stupid. I'm the Flash. <laughs> I hear there's plenty of tools on Earth too. Yeah, well, I'm on Earth one. Oh, you need a lift? I'll bring you there right now. <laughs> That's not what I saw. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn ours. Wow, that's super annoying. <laughs> What's happening? Sorry, Kate. Mask? She's right. taking off all her clothes and put all her clothes on. Thank you, Can you go back to my friend on that one? What? Nice. What's that? Mask, down the mask. Careful. Just keep one around. Why? Why not? Mm -hmm. I have one. If you'd have had one, that'd have been better. <laughs> I know. How do I? Other monitor. Other monitor. Hey, like, how do I use this stuff? Hey, Barry's leader, Team Flash. Purple. I like the purple light. Yeah. Here. And the fire will go out, just like he's done a thousand times. You got this, girl. What is Caitlyn doing? Let's just go, Caitlyn. Either one did what they were supposed to. 
What was physical, Mr. Doom? You suck, don't blow. Just go the opposite direction, okay? <laughs> no! Uh. What was that? Iris. Barry, the whole place is going up. Oh! <sighs> oh, yeah, why didn't you do that? Okay? What the hell? Why was it Caitlyn there? Siska, you do this. Caitlyn, you do this. Caitlyn, fire duty. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Two, the minute you start acting like Locutus of Borg and start simulating everybody with your board chair, you can vibe <laughs> me back to Mine Earth. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Team Flash. Teach how to, how to, how to vibrate. Barry, when I was a reporter, I was always in the field putting myself in danger. I was so a reporter. No longer and now. after last year, for some reason, that just stopped. Also, I'm not sure my clothes are going to work this time. I have a fix for that. Already? It's the best I could do on such short notice, though. Thanks, Cisco. Good day. Uh, where you need to see it? I got a hanger. All right, I got a hanger. Oh, I don't think so. Come yeah, on, that guy. Yeah. I get my money. <laughs> why did you just bat all of a sudden? Not to get my money. That's it. Dang it. I'm going to get what he couldn't. Money. Money. <laughs> Dude, he's out in the park. Just I think frying folks. For today. I'll take it from here. I like the outfit. That's our only hope. A tidal wave? If I do like one more damage? Now that they pinpoint it, maybe. Make sure when you should back up more. It's probably hotter. Now run, Iris. Run. Run, Barry. Run. <laughs> Can Killer Frost not handle this? It's probably too hot for her ice now. No, I'm gonna try. It's too hot for ice okay. now. Okay. Money! This guy's Mr. Krabs. We call him Mr. Money! Now you're saggy. What are you thinking, buddy? Saggy bottom. Yes. He's a saggy bottom boy. Nice work. Harry. <laughs> that smile again. I'll give you the tour. Alright. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I like my car. So. <laughs> and do all you guys have powers? Just like, not, not me. <laughs> So, Bear, you never made your own tidal wave before. No, I haven't. What? He destroyed a tidal wave. Uh, that's true. Whatever he showed. So what do you say? You want to teach an old dog a new trick? And then it was weird. All right. They didn't do it. Training? Went back at 6 a.m.? Ooh. Hey, Ralph. Suck it. Look what I did. You know. Uh, reporting again? Good. This is like a vlog, or I don't know. You got the names. The last two remaining bus matters. Oh, Janet Petty and Edwin Goss. Okay. Don't know who they are. Okay. What do you think? It was all right. I, uh, I, I'm, I felt frustrated with Ralph, but I also mm -hmm. kind of understand what he meant because, like, you were afraid of Kira. Yeah. I feel like he kind of feels the same way of, like, what you were saying. Yeah. He was like, I'm scared. I wouldn't do it. I'd run sure. away. Well, <laughs> just the thing with Ralph is that, you know? well, I'm a normal man, you know, with the Kira thing. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm faced with like absolute uncertainty, whereas he knows who the guy is, he's got powers, and he's gone through this conversation twice now. So this is like the third time, it's like, why don't you be brave? <laughs> you know, you know I'm scared. No, I will be brave. No, I'm scared. No, I will be brave. And it kind of happened again. But I can, I mean, that kind of thing is a complex emotion. It just seems like it might be something we've already been treading traveled over. Traveled a couple of times already this season, so for that I was like, eh. But I do get it. I mean, he just, you know, that that girl that he kind of likes, I guess, or whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the first time he went over that 
what was it? The first time was something about being a hero. It and was the, the, then the next time. Episode. Then the next time was with the acid and all that stuff mm-hmm. with the trickster episode. Yep. And then he was like, well, I could die. And then he went over and fought that, and yeah. it was fine. And then we had someone that he was liking, I guess, and then she died. Mm-hmm. And now he's worried about dying again. Yeah. Just seems like uh, if that wasn't in here, I wouldn't miss it. You know? I don't know. Yeah, but I, mean, I get what a... he's saying. I, I, I think that, you know, having been incepted, created by this mad genius that no one can, you know, and, and all these plans that, you know, we're going to use to defeat him, we just, you know, we're not even trying them now. Like, I, I get that, uh, why he's upset by it or whatever, but I don't know. I, I didn't love it, and then he just, you know, he, every scene almost, he had to be like, I'm fucking upset. <laughs> yeah, leave. Like I said, there was like a frustration part where like, I'm trying to understand it, but I'm also, I feel frustrated about the character being like he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we also got answers about Iris and her work. Where she yeah, said, that was a long time coming. I don't work. But now, now I'm going back to work. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It took him 16 episodes to, to mention, oh, yeah, I don't have a job. It was, we just kept thinking, like, what the hell's going on? She had it last season, right? Yeah. I, mean, I, I know that, like, when Barry was gone, she, like, assumed, like, a leadership role. But was she ever, like, did they, they ever, like, decide, like, hey, yeah, Iris is team leader. Barry's, like, Flash, but we're all Flash. Uh, Cisco and Caitlin, you two have very useful superpowers. Don't use them. Just stay here. Yeah, that was all set off screen. That was all set off screen. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Caitlin, fire duty. Gotcha, boss. So that was the only thing. Like they had that, and then they're like, "Well, we don't have a flash to get the people out." But then the other people didn't go. Yeah. I was like, "Well, why didn't?" Caitlyn go do fire while she got the people out of the building. And or Cisco using vibes to get people out. He can literally teleport. I don't know. Um, there's a big giant fire thing. Killa Frost might be able to offset that. At least protect people around him by freezing things. I don't know. You mean big giant fire? Yeah, yeah, big giant. Yeah, later, like you had the fire oh, vortex. Was, that was too hot. I guess, but there was no. There's not even an attempt. It's so damn hot. Those cops were staying like 20 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> you know. She was too, I don't know. She was too hot to run around it. I, I, I feel it the got, artif- It got bigger and she never ran again. Sure. I, I just feel the artificial benching of, of Killer Frost and and Cisco sometimes. I, I the one I don't get is just the uh, the moment at the, um, the the building. The building fire. Yeah. Whenever she literally sits there and goes, "Okay, you do this. You do this. We need a flash to get the. I'll, I'll do that. All right, yeah. let's go." As I felt like it all went to, and then all of a sudden it was just like, well, "No, you got it." <laughs> Like what? Yep. But the other stuff, I was like, oh, okay, I understand. But no, I mean, I, I get it. Like story wise, I get. You know, it's too hot. They can't do it. But it just, you know, I don't know. Like you just want them to say it. I just want them to do something. You want to, you want they to, don't, don't don't do anything. And Killer Frost would be like, my eyes can't even affect that. Yeah. Like and fucking Cisco at the end is like, Cisco at the end is like, you know, no, I like my superpowers. I'm like, well, I can use them sometime. He <laughs> saved Iris. Yeah, he did do that. He did that one thing. In the last, like, how many episodes? He, he did stuff when the Flash was gone. They just don't do enough. We'll get rid of him then. No. Well, then, 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 then we won. We won then. <laughs> I want him to be used, useful. <laughs> if it's not, if Kill of, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather the effort of, like, Kill of Frost going and being like, I can help, and then, and then it's too hot and he can't do it, you know? But at least he can be there to try to help other people. They just fucking sit there and wait, you know? Like, Sissy could go and, you know, Use a vibe on this dude. Send him out to fucking sea. Don't bring the sea to him. Why don't you just vibe him into the fucking did they, ocean? Did they not say about the how how hot it was beforehand? No, that, that that's fine. But they're not doing anything. Well, like the cops are at least going around trying to get people away. They didn't do anything. They just stood there. They could take create a perimeter around the dude. Well, I, first of all, if there's a giant fire. Are you gonna stand there anyway? I'd be running. Ah! Yeah, but they're they're doing something, right? They did the same thing. Cisco and Caitlin literally just sat in the back going, Hope Iris figures this out on her first day of being the Flash. No, they were they were talking with everybody, right? Weren't they all trying to come with an idea? <laughs> they weren't doing much. They and no one came with an idea except for Thinking Cap. Thinking Cap. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I Why thought, would... I thought they said about how hot it was before. Yeah. And I don't think Killer Frost would have been any good. All of that pales in comparison to this guy's plan. Like, he needs his money. All right? We knew that. This guy needs his money. So, he's going to go to a park 
and start burning cops. <laughs> to get to, what was he thinking? They were going to bring his money to the park? I don't really know what he was doing. What was he doing? I need my money! Yeah! He was so into it. He was so animated. I loved it. But it was so silly that he What did he need park. money for? Well, he just needed money. Why was he so bad all of a sudden? Why do people get powers and then they're just bad? Huh? Why do people get powers and they're just good? The EMT guy had powers. He's like, oh, he's great at calling. Power's gone. Yeah, I didn't realize what I was doing was wrong. Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> you know? Yeah. Did, kinda, did we forget that? He kind of responded very... That's why I said, like... <laughs> like, does he need the knife there? Uh, like, I don't get it. Yeah. They just it's came funny. in talking. All of a sudden, he just grabs a scalpel and <laughs> held it up to Iris' throat. Uh... I love it. That's so funny. Melting Point. That was the guy's name. I don't like the name. It's a silly name. I like the name of the other guy. Like Flip Flop. Were they, weren't, were they calling, him, calling him Melting Point? Were they calling him Melting no, Point? No, they're calling this guy Melting Point. The guy, the, this guy? Yeah. I don't like that then. Like the other... Yeah. Like Melting Point yeah, I makes get sense. That. I get that. But then I don't get... Touch. Yeah. They call... The one guy's name was Fry. Yeah. That was his name. Which works well with him just having hot fire. I think that works. Fries and fry. Like French. <laughs> no, Mel. Damn it. He wasn't French, was he? French fry. <laughs> That'd be great. I mean, wouldn't it? <laughs> like a heat based villain called French fry, and he's like, we? <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> and he is like a American counterpart, counterpart Freedom Fry. <laughs> I think it would be funny just to, like, you have, he, he is French. And he goes by the name Fry. Fris Fry. He is the French Fry. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. I don't know. Uh, I don't have many notes for this episode, honestly. No. Uh, my main thing, I guess, is like, what is the what what uses will the power guy have? Will he be able to like take Devo's power? If so, where does he put does it? Does he put it somewhere? I mean, he uh, doesn't store it for himself. He just transfers it. What are you like in a world where there are no superpowers, but your own superpower? He has the most useful superpower. Well, so would it be like Peter Petrelli. Yeah. You know. The whole idea, like, that's the thing, like, if I, if I was picking powers, I would want, like, Peter Petrelli's power, yeah. where I could just have everyone's power. Yeah, but but if, if I'm the only powered person in existence, yeah. it's useless. Yeah, that's true. So I need other power people so I can be awesome. Mm -hmm. Or the guy in My Hero that, you know, copies your quirk for five minutes or whatever. It's just, if that's the only thing that's out there that makes you special, you ain't special, you're you know? You're not special, you got nothing, yeah. nothing. So actually, I am a powered person. I have that power. I can absorb anybody's You just have never touched anybody with superpowers. Yeah, no one else has powers, but I'm special. <laughs> Maybe I have superpowers. Touch me. You're fat! <laughs> <laughs> we both went I know. Why is that by superpower? Uh, you have anything else? You want to go to Q&A? Uh, just that, I mean, you know, we have like an a, a, a episode every season where Barry loses his power. But I mean, you know... Uh, do we? Yeah, I, I believe so. Well, last ep last season, it was more of he lost his memory, and he wasn't using his powers then. But, I mean, there's, there's almost always some kind of Barry depowered Gotcha. Thing. I think Arrow does it too, don't they? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, every episode, <laughs> he's lost his power. Um, uh, what did you think of, like, Iris, Speedster Iris? Costume was kind of cool. Um... I, I love the purple. Yeah, the purple lightning is the best thing about it. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. Like we've, we've always had like, let's see, we had uh, red, yellow, blue. Was it blue for uh, Black Flash? For no, and blue is zoom. Black Flash is red. Black Flash is red. Mm -hmm. Blue was zoom, and Savitar was blue. Savitar is white. White. Yeah. So this is the first time I'm having like a purple color, yeah. which was pretty cool. I liked it. I wonder what like her speech name would have been. At one point, I thought Joe there after they caught you. Like, good job, Flash. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Let me, let me well, see. she is. She is the. Fl I can't say you're the best. Fl you know, you're you were a good Flash or something. Yeah, she is Flash here. I don't know. Yeah. She's part of Team Flash. She's the leader of Team Flash. Nice work, Flash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, she's, she's a Flash. Just called her Flash. I think Cisco like something gets powers. Like, oh shit! He runs over to the room and starts sewing. So, and I gotta do something. I gotta do something. This is all I can do in this in time. <laughs> you know. But no, I like they gave her own colors. I like the the purple motif. It, it just seems weird. Like, you know, you had Wally show up and Jesse show up and all these people, and like they don't call. He doesn't call everyone the Flash in yeah. public, does he? Yeah, maybe it's because his like. Hey, why did you call that one the Flash? Oh, I don't know. I just thought so. I was like, hey, don't you have a daughter? Yeah, <laughs> kind of, kind that's of the thing. Hot, like, hot little, like, like she's there. Like, yeah. The other cops are like, and then, 
There's like a tall, Joe, skinny white man. And Joe, isn't that Iris? <laughs> just, didn't they just get married? Hey, wait, Flash, Flash, wait a minute. I don't know. It's a lot of deductive Aren't they brother reason. and sister? Isn't that weird? <laughs> no, they were married. They're fine. Just deductive. that shit from Jitter. She looks like him, too. Cody says, do you think this should have been a two-parter? No. No. I liked it, but I mean, last episode I liked way, 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 way more. Um, that didn't need to be a two parter either. No, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think they've been good just single episodes. And yeah. The next part is going to be directly related to what happened in this thing anyway. Sure. So I mean, this. I mean, it's all connected. I don't think. I, I mean, I've said it for other shows too. I, I don't think that this show would would uh, lose much if it had maybe a shorter season. Maybe like, you know, 16, 17 episodes versus like the 22, 23, the standard. Hmm. You know, because I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of filler in some of these, you know. Like this one felt kind of filler-ish. I mean, we did get some cool stuff, you like know. Like Smallville. But, yeah. Like Smallville had so many like, just like. This is, this felt like week, a Smallville episode. Freak of the Week type of yeah. things where it's just like, well, here's where Clark loses his powers. And here's where no one, ha you know, here's where this new guy has the powers. And Pretty sure there was a there was one episode in Smallville where Clark loses his power and Lana gets her gets powers. Lana does? Yeah. Hmm. And then there was another episodes where like Lana gets powers and Clark has powers and they superpower bang. Hmm. Yeah. Like you can like feel it far off. What are you doing? <laughs> I can go watch it. <laughs> you gotta go see it. <laughs> He's like. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, never got to, I never got to that episode. Yeah. Speed King says, this was an interesting episode. I liked it a lot. Uh, what did you guys think? And why was Ralph being a dick? Well, we went over the Ralph thing a little earlier. Uh, again, I, I don't think it was a bad episode. It's not my favorite episode ever. Um, and, you know, I, there's a lot of people out there that seem to think that, like, well, oh, fucking Eric... Just say when you hate something. It's like, I don't, I don't hate it, you know. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, there's gonna be episodes in the Flash that I like less. You know, this sure. I don't like as much as last episode. Yeah, last episode I liked a lot. Yeah, like it was done really well. I like this one way better than the fucking, the the violin one. The violin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 can, yeah. I, I think I can agree with that. I mean, it was cool seeing Iris. The effect in the water was really cool. And I, like I said, I love the purple lightning. Yeah, there were there was moments in the violin episode where it was just or the fiddle or whatever they had. And yeah. I mean, that's just like, what? what? Yeah. So you're right there? Yeah. But like, why are you just staring at him? Turn like, around. Just, ah! Like, like, for a guy who runs real, real fast, this fight's going real, real slow. Like, there was, there was frustrations in that episode about, like, there's people there yeah. not doing anything. Yeah. Whereas here, you're frustrated. I'm frustrated that they're just over you're, here. You're frustrated they're not there. Yeah. But it's not that they're there not doing yeah. anything. Um, Red Lantern... Review says, "What do you guys think of the name Melting Point for Matthew?" Mm. Does, doesn't make sense to me. It was a science jargon thing that I didn't catch because I was probably reacting, making a joke, and didn't understand what he said. Well, I, I, we didn't get the chance to ask him and be like English, please. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we need English, um, please. I don't, I, we had a discussion a little bit ago. I'm like, I understand Melting Point for the fire guy. Yeah, like that kind of makes sense to me. But for him to be Melting Point, he said about like he's melting like your. Like a cellular mm -hmm. melting thing and melting point and like, I, all right, I guess. I like flip flop. Flip flop could work. Flip flop and go on. Switcher. Make... Switcher. The switcher. The Nintendo Switch. <laughs> um, he says personally, I think it's kind of dumb since his powers don't really involve melting things, but switching powers. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would have made more sense. If the fire guy were melting point, yes. Well, like fucking Joey from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he could be melting point. Yeah, that could work. Uh, Joseph says, so that was easy. They should have made a thinking cap earlier. <laughs> but they didn't have a thinking cap to think of the thinking cap. Yeah, they need that. I remember the uh, the awesome, like, security camera footage they got of DeVoe. Like, here's security camera footage from DeVoe from that night. This is from that right here. Oh! And then above. Ah! Can, I, can we get some lights? Go over here. <laughs> um, it's great security footage. Khaled says, first I want to say this is the first episode in a while where I've actually liked Iris. Second, my question is, do you think Harry could become like the thinker, but without the constant deteriorating body? He would have the brains, but the same body. Maybe. I mean, it's not. A, they're not using dark matter, right? No. 
That was the first stipulation. There's no dark yeah. magic. I mean, it seems to be working. Um, as long as it doesn't induce his rage and stuff, I'm hoping. I'm yeah. hoping. Because like, he was like, okay, we're past the threshold. we got to stop. But I feel like there's going to come a point where like, we, we need more brain power. I'm going to keep it on and yeah. go past the point of whatever. Yeah. Um, but no, I liked the Iris in this episode a lot. I, I, uh, I get what she was doing. Like, there was a respect thing where, like, Ralph saying, you're never in the field. You're always here. Like, well, I, I can go in the field, too. Yeah. I'll, no, I'll, she's not as prepared for the field, and she goes out when she needs to. Like, I was, I was, whenever they were fucking shrunk, right? It was Cisco and Ralph shrunk in a pocket, right? Mm-hmm. You had, you had all of them out there, didn't you? Yeah, I believe so. I'm pretty sure Harry and Iris... Both had like guns. Yeah. And then Killer Frost, I think, was there. Yeah. And the Flash was running around, speeding around. It's like, Dick, you were gone when the Nazis attacked. Yeah, right? I was in vents with guns. So, I mean, there's, I mean, yeah, well, they were they're sneaking around her and Felicity. Yeah. Trying to stop Supergirl and, and yeah. fake arrow and all that and, stuff. And then there's like, you know, you have no idea what it's like to be marked for death. And she's like, Man, you weren't here last season. That's all I did. <laughs> Joseph says, you, with you guys doing uh, being fight choreography enthusiasts, what are some creative ways you would uh, use speed in fights with limited budget? And then you just put the, at least I can figure out the Flash's identity. I have no idea who this is. Yep. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I, we got ton of a ton of ideas for it. Um, you know, I, I we had a plan on doing a Flash Speedster fight, and then we just haven't been able to do it um, since then. And that's been that's been a while now. Uh, I still want to, and I still got a lot of ideas. I don't want to tell you them. I want I want to show you them. So, but uh, what's a good tease for it? Um, a lot of it depends on too. Like you have two Speedsters fighting. Do you have yeah. someone else with other powers versus another Speedster? Yeah. Like, what could you do? I mean, a, a lot of, you know, there's not a whole lot of complication when it comes to, to Flash fighting on the CW. Maybe for, like, a season finale or something, like Zoom versus Flash, there's a couple flips and stuff. But it's usually just, like, run, push, run, push, you know, uh, run, trip, <laughs> you know? Um, and I, I thought it would be cool to add some more of, like, you know, not necessarily, like, you know, uh, like, on-the-ground jujitsu or anything, but speed <laughs> submission and, and holding and phasing through and... And figuring out the limits of those kind of things would be really fun. Uh, Robert says, Caitlin, Killer Frost is on fire duty. Ralph, Cisco, suit up. I feel like Iris might have lost her leadership skills because nobody moved when she said that and they left the building on fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't say. But as a question, he says, Do you think that Kim can store powers and use them uh, use them himself, or is he strictly a transfer? There was no evidence of him being able to use himself if anything he thought he just was taking powers away yeah um how many times have you done this you see at least, it has to have been at least once already what, I, what i'm wondering like with the flash it was touching touching immediately went through so the other one touched yeah got hit landed then touched so for a small bit he had that power like stored in him mm-hmm. does it just stay there until the next person he touches like he's like here's your change he did it accidentally. But all of a sudden it's just, ah! Both times you did it accidentally, yeah. Yeah, I just I just wonder, like... What does DeVoe need that for if DeVoe can already steal power? Yeah, like... Or did the, he base that steal power technology from his chair off of this guy and he doesn't need him anymore? Right? Because we don't know how he does that. We don't know how he teleports. I mean, if that's the case, like... It depends on how that power works. But they're not dead. If he can't dead. store it, he would need that guy to be alive. Yeah. And then he would need... Okay, touch Ralph, touch me. Yeah. Right, now touch Flash, now touch me. <laughs> yeah. But if he can't store it in himself and just take them all, like, it wouldn't do him any good. Yeah, I don't know. So if he has specifically gone through and created each of these to be what he wants, mm-hmm. like, why that? Why Ralph? Yeah. Like, why these people, you know? I mean, they made a point that this first guy was an actual metahuman from the first explosion, yeah. you know? So we know that he can affect him, you know? Maybe he can affect Barry. I don't know. Um, Josh says, are they setting up... For Iris to become a permanent speedster in the future, because why would they create a whole new super suit for just this episode? I, I don't think so. Um, I mean, I think just having that super suit, yeah. it wasn't even like a super, like everything. No. The bottom were just like regular pants, and the yeah, top was like a leather jacket special. special. Um, like, it, it was just something cool to have. Like, here's Iris as a hero. Here's what, you know, she would be yeah. like. But it's not going to be like, here's what she's, here's what she is. Sure. 
So I, I just thought it was a fun episode to have, like, well, you know, who, who else wants to do something cool? Like, mm-hmm. well, Iris, Iris can do something cool. Like, then we'll give Joe powers next time. What would he do with powers? <laughs> That would be weird, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, what would Joe do? I don't know if I could handle He's Joe. He's the only one that doesn't have powers at this point. Yeah. Like everybody else we've seen use powers, at least. I mean, uh, Harry has his gun, but he has his super thinking now. Now. Um, Kitty says, missed an opportunity for Caitlin, Frost, and Iris to be in the field together. Although we got snippets, I'd like to see the ladies support each other and be actual friends more than work friends. Yeah. What do you think of their relationship or lack of? Um, uh, I mean... They had that moment with the elevator before the wedding uh, where, you know, it's like, well, we should be friends or whatever. Uh, we haven't seen that a whole lot. So she wasn't even at the real, real wedding at the end. Mm-hmm. Though she was a bridesmaid. Um, I don't know. I-, I was more focused on just, like, let's have these two do something. I mean, it would have been cool but, to have those two yeah. in the field together fighting together. Sure. Because, like, how often is that going to happen where they both have powers for one. Yeah. That would have been pretty neat. Yeah. I agree. Too bad. I'm nope. sorry. Can't do it. Um, Ultra Arrow wants to know when will Grodd be the hero and rule all other shows? Uh, <laughs> it'll be soon. Uh, the time is coming. Check your newsletter, all you Grodd fans. Uh, we are making progress, but we'll see. Um, so just, uh, yeah. Keep keep on trucking. Keep on grinding. Magnus says, This episode reminds me of Smallville, mm-hmm. like when Lana got Clark's powers, or Lois, or the ten other people who got his powers. Yeah. It happened all the time. Uh, there was always something where it was like, Clark doesn't have his power. Fucking Clark. Clark's blind for this episode, you know? Uh, something like that. Don't get me wrong, I love Smallville, but, you know, sometimes there's just, there's just too many episodes and not enough story. Mm-hmm. Robert Reyes says, there any thoughts on why the speed lightning was purple for Iris? Accelerated Man on Earth-19 also had purple lightning. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I think it just looks cool. Ultimately. What if there's, like, some kind of, like, hidden meaning that eventually we find out that's all related to, like, like kind of like Green Lanterns, why there's different colors of green of lanterns, you know? I was like, different colors of Green Lanterns. <laughs> like, different lantern cores and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, they all have a different meaning for each one. What if, like, Speed Force gives people different colored... Like, speed lightning based on something. I mean, I've heard so many different things. Like, red is the negative speed force. Like, reverse flash is used. Blue with zoom is because he's faster. That's why Ezra Miller's is blue, because he's faster than the TV flash. But, I mean, Barry's faster than any of them now, and he still has yellow. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I think it's plainly cosmetic, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, hell, if Oliver got speed, I bet it's big green. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Speed arrow. Speed. <laughs> like a speed machine gun. Retro Weirdo. This is this would have been good a while back, but it's over now. So do you think the show writers missed their chance to have Jay talk to Barry while he was in prison to possibly reassemble the scene or resemble the scene, maybe is what it says. Resemble the scene from Speed Force Season 1 finale. Uh, you could have done that. Uh, it also could have been something from, like, another Earth, yeah. maybe. They could have been seen not something from this earth, but from just oh yeah, that's what the, that's what it was. Earth, I, mean, I mean, it so. was it was Barry, young Barry in jail, and him out. I mean, we saw Supergirl in that. We saw a couple of different things. We didn't see Supergirl, did we? We in saw a Legion ring, right? Like no, no, no. One? In season one, uh, that was the one when we saw Supergirl because they weren't yet connected. But that was like their first like Easter egg. Supergirl is he connected yet? Hmm. I'm pretty sure. I remember Supergirl being uh, in the top of the vagina. Yeah. What was she doing? Was she, like, standing or flying? Or? Yeah, it was just a clip from the episode of Supergirl. Mm-hmm. Just inserted into the, was, the vagina. Which one had the, uh, the, the, the ring? The Legion ring was, I believe, season two. So I remember seeing the Legion ring in the thing. I remember mm-hmm. seeing that, like, him on the phone. I don't know. Yep. I remember talking about, was, was, uh, uh, wasn't there someone with Killer Frost one time, maybe, yep. or something? It was the first time I ever saw Killer Frost. And then uh, we saw the Flash Museum. Oh, yeah. Push different things. Hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, I imagine it was just a different Earth. It wasn't like a future thing. Ochoa says, Iris, you surf. It was super effective. If you were in Barry's position, would you have given your girlfriend or wife the chance to keep the speed, or would you have asked for it back? Um, I just think that Barry has the experience and the the 
in the training that he's better equipped than Iris is. You know? Yeah. I mean, it would be... And she couldn't fucking blow out the fire. With having DeVoe, like, as a threat, it's probably much much smarter of an idea to be like, hey, the person who has three years' experience versus someone who just has powers and is re relearning them all yeah. over again, it's probably better for them to have it. Mm -hmm. so, Almost four years now. In this situation, I would say give them back. Yeah. Now. But if... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking give them back right now. <laughs> like, I got struck by lightning, you got touched by this dude. What? Uh, that's, I shouldn't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> this dude almost stabbed you. A rusted turtle says this episode probably annoyed me the most. Is there a petition I can sign that says the next time a hero loses their powers, they stay lost? Um, uh, also, what qualifies Iris as a leader above everyone else on the team? Someone please explain. Yeah. Don't sign petitions. Petitions never, ever work, especially online petitions. When you attach yourself to your position, someone's going to judge you, like I do to you. No, you haven't done it yet. You're just asking. Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Aaron? Um... I mean, the thing as far as, like, leader-wise, like, her having to know a lot of stuff doesn't necessarily have to be, like, that's what makes her the leader. Like, she can just be the one that's keeping everyone organized and focused, yeah. whereas, like, Cisco is on top of this, Caitlyn's on top of this, Harry's working this, yeah, and, and then, then Flash is doing, like, the field work. Or yeah. if they had to send people out into the field work and do stuff as well. It doesn't mean that she knows the most about medical stuff or science stuff or anything like that. Yeah, she can keep things organized. She can relay information back and forth, and she's not bogged down by the specifics. Yeah, and then with her having been a reporter, that also could help her with going through, like, information and cutting out the crap and finding mm -hmm. what, what the real issue, real stories, all that kind of stuff is, too. So maybe having the leadership skill is something that she, she may more likely have. Yeah. Also, um, sometimes, like, having more social skill mm -hmm. would help with that, where maybe Cisco and Caitlin be more science-y and in yeah. labs, maybe they don't yeah. have that skill as well as Iris yeah. does. She can create a bibliography. Huh? We're not talking about religion, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as, like, yeah, I mean, they have losing powers all the time. It's just, like it's Eric said, this is the one in this episode, or it's this, a trope. this season. Yep. Someone mentioned earlier about the ten times they did it in Smallville, which it only had ten seasons or so, right? I, it might have happened more than ten times. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, as far as Iris, like, being the, the leader, I don't feel like that's... Unbelievable! I yeah. just think that they need someone to guide everybody and keep everyone focused on yeah. track. And it helps that Iris is someone who cares for Barry, so she doesn't want him to go into bad situations, but she wants to also understand where he's coming from. So I think it works whenever you have whoever's in your ear is someone who also cares for you, but also is trying to keep everything on track. And then if Cisco and them need to leave, you still have Iris who can stay there and keep track of everything as well. Speaking of whoever's in your ear, I had a really, really, really long hair coming out of my ear this morning. What? Like a real long one. Did like it come I was, out of that like weird you got? No, it was coming out down here. I did like this, I went, ugh. I went, ding, and it hurt real bad. Oh, so it didn't come like out of your ear. Like I was waiting for you to be like, I just went like this and just came out. Oh, no, no, no. Wouldn't it was like, freaky? It's my old man he, ear hair. I don't have that. You don't have it yet? No, I'm not you old. You will. I'm not old. You will. <laughs> you probably just already lost it. Some someone had said uh, I thought it was funny about uh, damn it I don't know where it went. Oh, uh, Joshua says I love Iris's speech. She just became ten times hotter. But why not help her with that burning building or the guy who wanted his money? Money. And I believe it. Devoe is going to wreck Harry. Yeah. I just love that he put the money in there. I, I wanted to read it. I love that Ooh, guy this? wanting his money. Been waiting to show you guys this edit I did for weeks. I think it's funny that her costume is literally just the jacket she was wearing at the hospital. Look at that. He made it like flash colors. Oh, cool. That's kind of neat. This Crusader? Crusader! He did this weeks ago? So everybody knew this was happening. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, we don't keep up with news or anything, but that's cool, Crusader. It could have been in a trailer. Uh, obviously, it probably definitely was in some trailer. Well, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, that was like a promotional picture. Probably. I don't know. I don't know, Eric. The only thing I go to is Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I don't even go on Facebook anymore. 
Um, nope. I go on Discord because it keeps a pretty, you know, healthy moderation, but I don't go to like the specific channels. <laughs> you know, I don't do much. I play Zelda Master Mode in my bed, naked. It's pretty awesome. I'm just filling in time. Aaron probably next Q&A. Get real naked. Joy-Cons. That one's on. Andrew says, okay, episode... Oh, I'm probably like, okay, episode. Okay, Not, episode. Okay, episode. Okay, episode. <laughs> Had some cool effects and pushed the storyline more. Uh -huh. I get why they gave Iris powers, but yeah. I do feel her ability to do something Barry never did seemed far-fetched based on her bar her barely training. Um, do you guys feel like that is the case as well? Barry figured it out pretty quick. He stopped a tidal wave in a feature that no long or a past no was longer Was that season exists. one? That was season one. That was Weather Wizard. That was... And he was throwing... A tidal wave at the thing, and then Barry's like, Iris, it's me, Barry. Mm, kiss, and then they go back in time and all that stuff. That's when Cisco dies. Mm -hmm. Did he have anyone tell him to do that? Or did he come up with that one? Um, do you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember either. But, I mean, that was just... He just ran back and forth. In this, in this situation, it was, like, she was, he, she was being told by a speedster yeah. and Harry, like, yeah. okay, here's what you need to do. And then Flash is like, okay, well, here's how you can do it. And she just did that. Like, she ran there. This guy flamed on, and she's just in the radio. Going, what do I do? What do I do? Why? They were arguing. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been given something, and then someone is giving you instructions on how to do it, and then you did it, but you've never done it before? And it's like that. Right? No. Hmm? You never cooked anything, or made anything, or fixed anything, or anything? No. Just naked playing Zelda? Mm -hmm. Master Zelda. We need a pole. <laughs> <laughs> Iris? Yeah. Alright guys, uh, so with this poll, we're gonna ask about Iris, and would you like to see Iris yes. get powers again oh. in the future? I thought you said, like, that slow-mo whenever she took her clothes off. Dude, she Caitlin. took off her clothes She took twice. Caitlin's clothes off, Do you know how, how often does Barry run over to his outfit, yeah. take off his clothes, and he just, just gone. Yeah. yeah. He, you don't see his clothes just land. Yeah, we don't Iris, they're like, hey, throw your clothes on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need those. But no, he went over, undressed Caitlyn. She did. Undressed her. Undressed herself. They were probably naked at the same time. Put the clothes back on, put the clothes on here, and left. How did she do the pants to Caitlyn? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, guys. That was this episode of The Flash. Make sure you're going to the Patreon poll where you can, uh, you can decide upon that. And just make sure you subscribe. And uh, hopefully we'll be back next week. At least I will be with my new pants. I am so fat. <laughs>